are two of them. These are from our lab in Burnaby in British Columbia. From the outside, they look like giant black monoliths, big metal boxes, about 10 feet on a side, 12 feet tall. And they are powered, they have a fridge inside them, a refrigerator that cools these chips to almost absolute zero. Just a wisp, a fraction of a degree above absolute zero. Hundreds of times colder than interstellar space. Amongst the coldest and most isolated and extreme conditions that humans have ever been able to engineer. These fridges, interestingly enough, which are called pulse tube dilution refrigerators, have a thing called a pulse tube, which emits a sound roughly once per second, which sounds eerily like a heartbeat. So if you're sta- you have the opportunity to stand next to one of these machines, it is an awe-inspiring thing, at least for me. It feels like an altar to an alien god. It, they really are impressive machines. So we had, uh, I'm going to talk about aliens. And, of course, the quantum key to the abyss factors into it somehow. I'm not exactly sure how. Okay, so that, that's just D-Wave. Uh, I did that for about 15 years. It was a lot of fun. A big science project that we turned into a commercial entity. Uh, that was a warm-up for Kindred. So Kindred is much, much, much more ambitious than D-Wave. And what Kindred is trying to do is build a real AI. So what you've heard about AI is not what we mean by AI. What we mean by AI is a software system that can do literally anything that a human can do. Literally anything. And obviously, computers are better at things than people in lots of different ways. So now imagine, not only can they do everything that a human can do, but they can do everything that the best human at any task could do better than them. So that's what we're talking about here, is a complete and utter transformative change that of the likes of which has never been seen before in the history of humanity, making the industrial revolution look like a little tiny blip on the path that humans have taken from when we emerged from the ooze a few billion years ago. We are right on the verge of that transition now. Yeah? So what does this have to do with aliens? So uh, Sam Harris, who I quite admire, is a very interesting guy, Um, was reciting this parable at a TED Talk that he was giving, and it goes something like this. So, I am, say, I'm the President of the United States. So I receive this message from the heavens. So my microwave dish, my SETI dish, finally captures something. And what it says is, in 50 years, or 13 years, we're coming to your planet. you got to be ready. Now, just imagine what would happen if, it, if that happened. A super intelligent alien race beamed down a message to all of us Earthlings saying, we're coming July 13th, 2030, and boy, you better be ready because the mothership is landing right on the front lawn of the White House or wherever you wanted to land on that day. The amount of resources that would be marshaled to try to figure out what to do would it would encompass the whole world. AI is just like that. So when this thing that I'm talking about happens, it's going to be exactly the thing that you're thinking about, about those super intelligent AIs. So the one thing I can tell you is they're not going to be like us. So alien means, you know, different. These things that we're building are not going to be people. They might be really smart, they might be really good at all sorts of different things, but they're not going to be like us. They're going to be aliens. And they're going to be, I'm sorry to say, way smarter than every single person in this room, in ways that we can't even comprehend. So this, of course, triggers a lot of alarm. One of the guys who talks about this is Elon, who uh, says things like this. Like, when you do this, beware. Because you think, just like the guy in the stories, that when you do this, you're going to put that, that, that little guy in a pentagram, and you're going to have your holy water out, 
and you're going to wave it at the thing, and by God, it's going to do exactly what you say, and not one thing more, but it never works out that way. So uh, this, is an, this is an attitude that some are having, this emerging alarmism about the way this is going to go. But this, these words, demons, doesn't capture the essence of what's happening here. Uh, I don't know if any of you are uh, turn-of-the-century weird fiction fans, but there's this guy named H.P. Lovecraft, who's a very famous American weird fiction author. And he exposed a, a, a view which is called cosmicism. And the essence of cosmicism is cosmic indifference. So he, what he was saying is basically, yes, there are these massively intelligent entities out there, but they're not good, they're not evil. They just don't give a shit about you even in the slightest. The same way that you don't care about an ant is the same way they're not going to care about you. And these things that we're summoning into the world now are not demons, they're not evil, but they're more like the Lovecraftian great old ones. There are entities that are not necessarily going to be aligned with what we want. So this transition is really, really massively important for our entire species to navigate. And going back to that thing that Sam Harris was saying, nobody is paying attention. This thing is happening in the background while people bicker about politics and what what's going to be in the health care plan in the U.S., and underneath it all is this rising tsunami that, if we're not careful, is going to wipe us all out. So, um, on that uh, pleasant note, uh, we're hiring people <laughs> <laughs> to try to make something like this happen. Uh, and, of course, the quantum key to the abyss factors into it somehow. I'm and of course the quantum key to the abyss factors into it somehow. And of course the quantum key to the abyss factors into it somehow. Hey guys, so I wanted to do a show on this because not many people are still talking about this. But if you look at these D-Wave computers and you look at the boxes that Osiris is sitting on, it is the same exact thing. The same thing. Now, you know... I, it's just absurd to me why people would want to bring demons into our world. I do not understand this at all. But, you know, they're talking about bringing in the things that H.P. Lovecraft uh, did. Well, you know, I want you to see these things because these things are pure demons from the pit of hell. They are not nothing nice. And they want to destroy us. I suggest you get your soul right with the Lord. And get it right real fast. Because the pit has not been opened yet. And Gordy Rose flat out tells you. This is the key to the abyss. You know. The Lord gave us a sign with that eclipse. He said the only sign that we would get was the same sign that Jonah got. And that is the eclipse. Don't that tell you something? I'm going to do a video on that also right here in a minute about the signs that the Lord have gave us and the scriptures that he talks about. Because I do not think many people are understanding what is about to happen in this world. Everybody's so busy bickering and this and that, that nobody can see what is about to happen. Alright y'all, I just wanted to do this video on this.